Howdy guys, welcome to Chevy Wright Garage. It is hot rod rally season now. As you saw last week in the short video, we sorted out the rear springs on the BA gear. Now we've got to sort out this hot rod. It's been about six months since it's been driven at Oberon. So we've got a couple of flat tires that need to be taken care of. We're gonna to have to do an oil change in service and we're gonna to have to check out the brake fluid and do a general once over. So why don't we take a look at what we're doing and hook in, let's get involved. Shredder valve. Okay, let's check the rest of it. Got a leak here as well. And that's that one solved too. Beauty. Let's check the inside, eh? That's Sienna looking good. Happy days. Here's the driver's side. Very mild. Oh. Out of bead looks decent. Schroeder's decent. Unfortunately, that's that tear on the inside that Farco found. Fucking hell. And after leaving him for about a half hour, I'm starting to foam up on both of the outsides. So definitely these outer beads do have a bit of a leak. Probably good enough to send it for the weekend, but if we get some time after scrutineering, we might sort them out. for scrutineering. And so just quickly guys, we did get through scrutineering, but not without a couple of issues. Um, a couple of Electricals were failing, uh, such as the headlights, didn't have any power at all. Simple stuff like a switch, so a bit of lubrication, uh, inox has sorted that out. Um, we have got an issue with the braking system. I did notice that when I pressed the brake pedal hard, it wouldn't release. I had to release it at the brake caliper. Now, I think this is probably due to sitting for six plus months. I'm going to have to check the master cylinder. I don't have time to get a new one, so we've got to hope that this thing's actually working. I'm going to grab Pico, we're going to flush this system on the rear brakes, that's where it was locking up. Um, this is one of the perils because the last time we took this car out, it was in a muddy environment, it was putrid, full of water, dirt, dust, all the rest of it. It's now been sitting outside for six months and this is what I'm facing with the car. Um, so fingers crossed, we're going to get this sorted. I do want to rally this weekend.
need to make sure this entire brake mechanism is very well lubed up now. All these levers are probably a bit dry and got grit in them. Bit of a blockage up the back here, it's moving freely now. Down. Up. Down. Up. Like that. Down. Up. Happy days, looks like we're going. And here we are, finally got ourselves locked and loaded. And we have got ourselves one very full Fairmont gear, completely filled to the brim. Off we go. And here we are at Orange, we finally made it. Death proof's all right. Fortunately, the trailer bearing crapped out just out of town. So that's another issue we've got to take care of today. Hopefully go all right with the racing. Bloody hell, eh? Well, here we are at the start line, ready to go. A little bit nervous. Got Shari, who's hopped into the hot seat here. The third rally, let's see how we go.
Oh no! Fuck, it had to fucking stall, didn't it? Just give it a second. Fuck, and we're doing well too. Well, this is just fucked. Sherry's gone back to try to get another couple of tyres. Someone's given her a ride back. Our day's fucking over. We're, even if we get back on the road, we're a fucking DNF, god damn it. Can't believe it. Two flat fucking tyres. And this piece of shit battery, or the starter, whichever one of them has crapped out. So one tiny little mistake has just steamrolled into the whole fucking day being over. I'm fucking pissed. I'm really pissed off. Uh, anyway, we'll see if we get mobile again. I don't fucking like my chances. Fucking sad state of affairs this is, I tell ya. Getting done by two flat tyres in the one stage. It's unbelievable. Unbelievably shitty luck. Uh, well, at least we got confirmation. We got a spare tyre on its way back, so we'll just head back to service park, go over the car, swap the battery out, maybe use the one from the gear. We're going to DNF, but hopefully we can at least do the last four stages today. Uh, can't really help it, unfortunately. It's no one's fault. That is rallying, but it also does piss me right off. Oh well, she'll be right. Service park, gear battery, let's see if it works. Seems to work. Oh, it's alright, thank you. Alright, we're back in business. 
get the hell out there, eh? Bit of fuel, Let's check the oils. Don't have much time. Let's see if it starts, eh? Not the best.
signs out, quick smart. We're out of this rally. Fucking hell. I've had enough of this car for today. Like it's got no fuel or no spark, I'm not sure. Not what we wanted folks, but this fucking wire for the coil just came undone. We may just be back in this game. Our day's fucking over, but we just gotta enjoy what we can. Our fucking headlights gone to whatever. Let's get back involved. Alright, oh, we're back in. Day. You can see how crooked this wheel is. That up control arm mount on the rearward section has completely ripped out and torn back. So we're going to have to nurse him back to service park. That's him done. That's our day over. Fucking hell. Up. <laughs> right, oh, guys, that is going to have to wrap up our Orange Rally for 2022. Unfortunately, things did not go according to plan. Fortunately, though, the gear didn't miss a beat. It brought it back no problem at all. If only we could say the same for the rod and the trailer, but that's life. So as we take a quick peek under the driver's fender of the hot rod and we take a close up of that chassis, we can see the mount has been completely ripped out there. So on that note, in an upcoming video, we are going to look at making some completely new upper control arms. They're going to be larger and therefore stronger and they're going to be fully adjustable as well. So that should be a cool little addition, give us a little bit more uh, speed. Um, outright because we'll reduce our bump steer um, and also from that sort of handling perspective I had a close look at the right hand rim that went flat that was the first one 
Now, the tyre itself didn't go flat. It looks like the rim itself got bashed and it let some air out. And so moving forward, I think we're going to look at doing some alloys, which will hopefully give me some better handling when I get some new tyres on and probably a soft or super soft compound. And on top of that, we're going to have a bit of a weight saving too. And now, I would just want to say a big shout out to the fella. It would have been another service crew who picked up on this light dangling by its wires between stage five and six. He pulled that off for me and brought it back to us at the end of the day. If we lost that in the forest, it would have been a disaster. So in terms of results, our only result, unfortunately, is for stage five. It is the same as stage one where we had our failure. Now we've got an overall time of 30 minutes and 54 seconds. Now if you take a look at the video that's playing behind me now, we can actually see where we had a bit of an issue, or that is to say I had an issue. The call was made to keep right. Unfortunately, I did not keep right and I kept going straight. So in the middle of stage, I had to reverse the hot rod and that was at a total cost of around about 34 seconds according to the footage. Now, when we have a look at that footage and subtract that, we realistically should have had a 13 minute and 20 second time, which when we actually look at it compared to the other competitors, it's a fairly decent time. So I'm pretty happy knowing that the hot rod is still handling quite well. So moving forward in the future, we can expect some better handling all around, just from better control arms and more secure mounting points. And of course, a fresh set of tires and wheels. So that pretty much wraps up the event um, and the video. Join us on the next video for the hot rod. We will be doing those upper arms. I've also found a weeping fuel tank. We've got to take care of that as well. And I did promise you a few videos back that we're going to be doing an XB Ute. I am going to try my best to have that for the next week. It's going to be the next major video or the next large video. I promise you that. There may be a small one in between. We'll see how we go. Like always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. I fell over all my boxes. Have another beer, mate. Nah, mate. I'm fucking. <laughs> I was trying to get in in full Pass shot, tip. and I had and I had all that fucking pus there, and I just fucking axed myself <laughs> on it straight, <laughs> straight in the brick pile. That was funny as fuck watching that oh, through mate, the window. And then I just stumbled on me. He used to keep it up. Right? Fucking imbecile. What are you doing, fucking imbecile? Oh. <laughs> oh no! What am I doing in Versailles? Move. That's why I just went straight for that. It's okay. No, no it's, it's not. not. <laughs> what am I doing in Versailles? What are you doing, you fucking imbecile? Let's check the rest of yeah. it. My hearing might be shit, mate, but my eyes are still fucking mint. <laughs> You're ugly as fuck, though. Oh, I know that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck me dead cunt, I'm not fucking ready. Jesus fucking Christ.